This is Fire Risk speaking to you, Australia. Okay, here's to the world. This is Fire Risks speaking to you. Australia versus Germany. And we're about to kick off. Lining up to jam for Australia is Skate Pilgrim. And we have uh, skater number 308. And I just now can't read his name because the Australian guy is in front of him. There we go. That's Bultik. Baltic's hopping around, trying to find a way through. And Skate Pilgrim following close behind. Now who's going to take him through? And, uh, yeah, that is Skate Pilgrim now. And Baltic has been uh, recycled to the bank. He's going to try and get through that Australian wall. In the meantime, Skate Pilgrim, lovely little hop, but doesn't quite land it. Gets recycled all the way to the back. And Baltic still finding his way through. He's very nimble on his feet. And he has got through. And he's hot for to get all the way around the track to catch up. But it looks like it could be to his advantage because Australia has gone into the penalty box with their jammer. So this is the first time power jam for Germany. And Australia with one blocker in the box as well, so at a disadvantage right now. Ponte is making heavy weather of it, but it's looking good doing it. Heavy weather with style, and he is through. And at the end, he's got full five points there to kick off, and he's got his supporters at the end of the track at the bottom end. He's coming round again. Australia is going up. Oh, takes a big hit, but he's up again. And round he goes, taking it gently. The Australian <laughs> wall getting a little smaller. And he's getting some support there. Australia wall goes out fast and he's through again. Bit of a fake offence there from Germany. Australia running forward. And it looks like now they've lost that power jam and it's now power jam to Australia as Baltic heads for the bin. So Skate Pilgrim now back on track. Let's see what he can do. Only facing two there for Germany. So both these teams are putting quite a few of their players in the penalty box at this very early stage of the game. But it's even Stevens at, so far, 10 points each, but that's about to change. Yeah, that is 15 to Australia, taking lead over Germany's 10. And lining up to jam for Australia, we have number one one, that's Sausage Rolls. Sausage Rolls, that's it. I do love these derby names. So obviously Australia are power jamming. The last the German jammer is still in the box. Just having a chat there with Flaming Galar. And we're off again. Germany playing in green, and sorry, Australia <laughs> playing in green, <laughs> Germany, and Germany black. in black, for those who are watching in black and white. I'm right next to the track, and I can't even tell which team is which colour. And here we go, the German jammer is on track, and he's through, and he's lead jammer. But he's now being joined by Skate Pilgrim, who's back on track again. So we have a full set of jammers. Makes a nice change so far. <laughs> we, haven't had, we haven't had a full set for quite a bit so far. A little bit of confusion down the bottom end there. Skate Pilgrim taking out the uh, last of the German defence at the front to make his way round. And eventually, Germany calls it. 
So now we have Sausage Rolls uh, lining up again for Australia. They've got four blunders on the track, so full advantage to them. And east side of four, Germany. Number 69. Both Germans with a bit of movement at the back, trying to find a bit of advantage. And they're off. Sausage Rolls taking advantage of a lovely open outside line there. Nips his way straight through for Lee Jammer. And he's side been recycled right to the back. And he's going to have to go again. Whilst the Australian Jammer passes straight past. Straight very, very quickly. Quick. Exceptionally quick round the track there, number 1-1. One, one. That's very quick. Very, very quick. And the and number 69, the German Jammer, really having a bit of a hard, taking a few hard knocks trying to get through. And yet again, again, the Australian Jammer roaring through. Sausage Rail's taking a knock there, decides to call that one off. So the score was standing at Germany 12. And Australia 25. Lining up for Australia with the German Pantheon number zero, Skate Pilgrim. And for Germany, number four, Ludwig Kelly. Jam is underway. Skate Pilgrim pushing his way into the German wall there. And Ludwig Kelly really not having much luck trying to get through that Australian wall and really pushing him back, allowing the Australian Jammer to go way out in front. In the meantime, Skate Pilgrim is lead Jammer. He's making his way round. Hits the wall of Germany, pops through, picks up his points. And still Five Germany points. struggling to make the way through. Australia really good on defence. Skate Pilgrim coming up against a wall or two, but pushes his way through, picks and up another five points on his way round. And still Germany trying to get Paddy, eventually makes it past. That's, that would have taken some out of him. Skate Pilgrim calling it off there, uh, picking up a final four at the end. And no such luck for Germany on that particular one. No points there. Don't forget, this track is brought to you by Roller Derby City. This jam is brought to you by Roller Derby City, Europe's largest supplier of Roller Derby kit and merch. Lining up for Australia, 1-1 one, one, Sausage Roll, seeing him quite frequently at the start here. And we got a double 11 at the back there, both jammers sporting number 11. A jam pain for Germany. Sausage Rail's already out, making his way round. And still Jam Payne, trying to get past. Oh, no beautiful footwork there. We see some great work from Australia here. Really effective Jammer, just getting on with it, while the blockers focus constantly on stopping that German Jammer getting through, and they're very successful at it. But Jam Payne is through. But being held up by his opposite number 11 from Australia, Sausage calls it there. Germany seeming to have a lot of trouble early on with penalties. Australia having the advantage most of the time. Stronger walls, more skaters. And we have a new drummer up for Australia now, about 71, RPG 71. And we got Baltic again, number 308 for Germany. This is going to spend some time in the penalty box. He wants to avoid that again because it gives away so many points to Australia who are so good at scoring them anyway. We don't want to give it away. And 7-1 for Australia is your lead jammer. And Bolton is through. Made short shrift of that. It's a lot better this time than he was last time round. So he's coming round to the back of the Australian block now. But he's taken a tumble. Some uh, heavy defence from Germany there. Forcing Australia to call that one off. Right, are you using Instagram? Look us up on Instagram under MRDWC. Share your photos of yourself enjoying the cup wherever you are. 
and they might take it onto the stream. So, Instagram users, get on it, get at it. Lining up for Australia again, number zero, Skate Pilgrim. And we have number 69 again, east side of Fort German. So both Germans coming uh, into contact with those walls. Neither of them is going to get out at the moment. And we have Lee Jammer status for the first time. Pretty well for Germany and East Sider. But very hotly pursued and he's going to have to call that off. Emphatically anyway. calling that one off there. He wasn't going to hold on to that very long, that <laughs> lead. And don't forget, uh, one of our sponsors today is Fast Girl Skates. Their knowledgeable staff represents all facets of roller derby, WFTV Gate. WFTDA, USARS, MRDA, G, JRDA, and Banks. They can relate and have what you need. A larger selection on skates and gear for everyone. Women, men, juniors, it's about you. And we have our double elevens jamming for both teams. All the ones, 1-1 one, one Sausage Trolls for Australia. And Jam Payne, 1-1 one, one again for Germany. And Australia have Lee Jammer. And Jam Payne getting recycled around to the back, just in time to be overtaken by number 11, Jammer for Australia. And in the process of trying to get around that, it looks like he's picked up a penalty. He has indeed. Cut track penalty, and off he heads for his 30 seconds in the penalty box. I believe that's a minute in the penalty box today, as it we is. are skating by old, the old goal set still. Flaming Galar there making an uh, offence for Sausage Rolls. Sausage Rolls. It's a tricky one, that one, isn't it? It is, but to be honest, I like Sausage Rolls better. I was only thinking that makes me really hungry, just mentioning his name. <laughs> and he's picked up five points there. Oh, Sausage Rolls. <laughs> <laughs> nice sausage side Rolls side. picking up another five points, making his way round. Germany with a depleted wall of two. That's a tomato. <laughs> oh, what time? Oh, back from the uh, dining car, I am. Making his way round for another five. And Big scoring oh, power jam. Enough. Just as the German jammer was standing. So they're going to get their advantage, Australia are, on the beginning of the next jam. At the moment, it's looking like 12 to Germany and 86 to Australia. They've racked that up pretty quickly. 18 minutes left in this game. If I went out for a sausage roll right now, if I came back in five minutes, the score could be double. And that's number four, seven jamming for Australia, Rogan Josh. And Jam Payne, number 11, is back out for Germany. Right in the back of that Australian wall, taking some hits there. They're not going to let him through very easily. Rogan Josh pushing his own blockers. Get me through. Oh, and number 11 goes straight out into the audience. Young lady there got a surprise. He wasn't expecting that. Everyone likes a nice surprise. But Rogan Josh has made his way through, picked up his points, calling it off. He's done his part. Now, I was hearing earlier, just before we started off um, this morning, just after the skate outs of all the teams, we had some 30 people in Buenos Aires have tuned in to the live feed, and about the same again from Australia. So we've got huge international interest in this tournament. And that was just for the skate outs this morning, before we had our first England versus Argentina. Jamming for Australia, number zero, Skate Pilgrim once again. And we have Baltic back in for Germany, number 308. In his favourite place, behind the Australian block. And Skate Pilgrim forcing his way through the final two blockers of Germany, makes his way through Lee Jammer. And Baltic recycled again, now he's having another crack at it. Why not? You're there, you might as well try, darling. You might as well. The Australian strip was good for the back. And Skate Pilgrim picking up five points there. Meantime, recycling. Very important to recycle, especially in roller derby. And that's what Baltic is doing. And back he goes again. I think he's probably covering more distance the other opposite way of the track. 
So, uh, any other people? Skate Pilgrim being sent off there uh, for a back block major. So, this gives an opportunity. Not major, a back block now. So, let's see if Germany can capitalise on this power jam situation, pick up some points there. But Baltic is also now gone to the uh, penalty box. Didn't last long, did it? It was a nice idea. So, Skate has been released. Comes up against a wall or two, steps his way around deftly, makes five points. And the German block are going to really try and hold him back, but, ooh, that been pulled out of move off, that would have been cool. And we got Baltic coming back in, 308, going round the opposite side of the track, ready to feed back in. And Baltic trying to push his way through. Both Gemma's back on track now. And the jab coming to an end now. Just a quick adjustment to our sound levels. Hopefully that will be a little easier. And don't forget one of our sponsors today is Green Monster. Green Monster Roller Sports, all new. Visit them today at grnmnstr.com. I didn't know how to pronounce that when I first came in this morning. Well, now you know. Now I know. Now you know. Green Monster, it's obvious here, isn't it? And lining up for Australia, 1-1 one, one, Sausage Rolls. And the east side, number 69 for Germany. Oh, it's getting a big hit off by the full set of... Uh, already declared knee jammer, already making his way back round. The Australians giving a classic example of roller derby here. And east side, actually almost went completely off the track there into the audience. Sausage making his way round again. Germany still... Oh, no, as both is soon. He just saw a gap and took it, but he's some way behind, and they called it off, no chance for him to pick up any points. So, Germany still on 12 points, where they've been stuck for some while, while Australia comfortably ahead on 126. And don't forget, if you're enjoying listening to us today, to my dulcet Essex tones, drop us a few quid or dollars, or whatever your currency is, using the link on the broadcast page. It's all been split 50-50 between the, the organisers and the team's travel funds. And off we go again. And we have jamming. Four for Australia. Four seven. Oh, lots of fours. Four seven. Rogan Josh for Australia. Jammer Jammer recycled to the back. He's got to start all over again. One, one against one, but now we've got two Australian blockers against him. But uh, Rogan Josh has already come round, facing the wall at the front of Germany. Very strong defence from Australia, continuing to do so. It's almost two teams, an offence team and a defence team. Rogan Josh decided to call it there rather than getting recycled back. And we'll try and get you an update on the scores very shortly. So one of our courts, one of our supporters, Quartz Skate Shop, um, Europe's original bricks and mortar roller derby equipment supplier. Quartz Roller Skate Shop has the best selection and most stock of any store on the continent. With excellent consultations, consultation services only a fellow skater could provide. We've got all your needs covered. We love this day. In the meantime, both travels are through, but it is lead to Australia, number zero, Skate Pilgrim. Being closely followed out of the pack by 308 Baltic from Germany. And he is Baltic, he's trying to get past that wish. Jammer on jammer action. And I can't help thinking that not only are the Australian block is extremely difficult to get past, but so are their jammers. Australia playing is very tactical. They've got to try it easily. It's a fight who can stay upright, who can push the other off. So, and... Ah! And it dies through the middle of the two. 
Lopez makes his way through, pulls it off, taking advantage of a power jam start here. So, Australia comfortably through the 200 mark. Germany comfortably on 12. And talking of fast, fast girl skates. Skate a blue streak with fast girl skates. Designers of the blue streak boots with unparalleled comfort fit, style and performance. You can't ask for much more than that, really. No. And lining up for Australia, 4-7, Rogan Josh. And only two blockers for Germany. No pack was called, Germany letting him go there. And you can't help thinking that they're going to struggle to keep this guy there. He just bursts right through the middle. Makes some light that work with that wall. And these Australians aren't big guys. Compared to the Germans, who are, as a pack, heavier, bigger. Maybe not as big as the Americans. And Rogan Josh picking up five points, coming round again, facing a wall of three this time, but offense from Australia, helping him out, goes around the outside, picks up another five points. Meanwhile, the German blockers have been used, and out come, oh, 69. 69. He's sliding up straight out, tried to take the German off, didn't work. It was a nice idea. Four points there, picked up by Rogan Josh. And he's either, oh yes, he's got pirouetting mostly round that Australian blocker, and off he goes. And that's Buttercup and Jam Payne there, holding Rogan Josh, so who decides to call it? There are no points again for Germany, they're still on 12. And Australia now with 225 on the board. Oh no, 228. And what a journey on. Oh yeah, 12. Off we go again. This time we've got GC number 77 before Germany. Let's see if he can mix it up and try something different. Pushing his way really hard through that pack. He needs business. And he's done it. This is what we want to see, and the crowd getting behind him. JC number 77, jamming for Germany, is Lee Jammer. And he's going to need to smash a few points here, because I'm bored with saying the number 12. He's being chased down by a 71 RPG of Australia. And he's pulled it off. And he's taken four points. Good. And don't forget the Men's Roller Derby Association would like to wish all teams competing in the Men's Roller Derby World Cup the best of luck this weekend. The MRDA is the international governing body for Men's Flat Track Roller Derby and wants you to join them in the growing of Men's Roller Derby. For more information about joining and the benefits of being part of the MRDA, visit them at mensrollerderbyassociation.com or send inquiries to info at mensrollerderbyassociation.com. And in the meantime, the jam is underway. And we've got his side at number 69, almost taking out the uh, suicide seats on the front, and being recycled to the back. He was the jammer and just pulling it off. And that was the last jam of Game 7 today. The unofficial score at the moment is Germany 12, Australia 232. So that was a that was a pretty good example of how to play roller derby. Not too much of a struggle for Australia, that wouldn't have taken too much out of them. They got some much tougher games to come yet. And everyone's lining up around the track to congratulate the teams. Team Germany go round on their lap of honour. Everyone congratulating them. They tried very hard, but the opposition was just too tough on this occasion. We should have some easy games coming. On this track, uh, next in half an hour's time will be Belgium versus Scotland. Please make sure you do join us for that. Uh, Scotland just uh, recently uh, won against Japan. That was a very well supported and exciting match. 
And Australia made their way around on their final skate now. So we see their congratulations from the crowd. 232 points on the board. And that's what I call a differential. And that's going to be a good count from the day after tomorrow. And that's where we're going to leave you for this particular bout. Thank you very much for joining us. And we will see you on another bout very soon. Thank you. Over and out.